Hey boys, it's Harm Nine. Today I'm going to be going over my picks for the 10 coolest vehicles in Grand Theft Auto Online. Now I don't think anyone's ever made a list like this on YouTube, at least not that I could find when I was researching for this topic. So I'm very excited to be getting into this and showing off some really, really awesome vehicles that GTA Online has to offer us. If you enjoy this video, a like is of course appreciated. If not dislike, subscribe to my channel. If you guys are new, I'm going for 300,000 this year. And if you want to help me get there, I would appreciate it. Anyway, guys, let's go ahead and get started with number 10. At number 10, we have the Ocelot Stromberg coming in at $1,875,000 with the trade price. Now, if you don't have the trade price, it's going to run you $2,500,000. Now, the Stromberg is based heavily off of the modified Lotus Esprit that was featured in the James Bond film, The Spy Who Loved Me. In GTA Online, it is fully capable of traversing underneath the surface of any body of water in the game, as it appeared to do in the James Bond film. It also features decently heavy armor that can absorb a fair amount of damage from enemies, quite a few explosives, and definitely a lot of small arms fire. On top of this, it also features the highest damage outputting machine guns in GTA Online, as well as some very aggressive homing missiles when it comes to the tracking. Now, unfortunately, the car isn't overly fast or notable performance-wise. However, it is really hard to deny just how cool this vehicle is, and it certainly is quite unique. I really like when Rockstar takes these vehicles that were, you know, in famous films and things like that, and it actually integrates them into Grand Theft Auto Online. I think it's really, really cool. I'd like to see them do it more in the future. At number nine, we have the Benefactor Bruiser. This is gonna cost you $200,000 for the initial Benefactor Glendale purchase from the Benny's website or the Arena War website, and it's gonna cost you $1,609,000 for the upgrade to turn the Glendale into the Bruiser. Now the Bruiser is an insane looking vehicle as I'm sure you can see to begin with, but you can also take it a step further with the customization that is available for it and you can make it look absolutely insane. Now there's a couple different styles you can go for and depending on what you choose, uh, the insanity levels of the vehicle will go up or down. Now, it's a crazy vehicle to look at in the first place. If I didn't know this vehicle was in GTA Online and I saw someone driving it, I would be genuinely terrified. Now, it's pretty fun to drive. It's good off-road, it's good on-road, and it will plow anything that gets in your way out of your way with ease. It's also surprisingly fast, and you can also put a boost upgrade on it to make it even faster on top of all the other crazy customization that can be done to it. This is definitely an underrated vehicle that I don't really see anyone ever driving in GTA Online, and I think it's a really, really cool vehicle and that a lot more people should definitely have one. It is a little on the steeper side as far as price goes, but I still think it's really awesome and it's definitely cool. And in my opinion, it's definitely worth owning. At number eight, we have the Grotti Vigilante, costing $3,750,000. And of course it is based off of the Batmobile as I'm sure you could probably tell. The Vigilante is the fastest land vehicle in GTA Online on all platforms without HSW available on them. So Xbox One, PS4, as well as PC. Now obviously, or maybe not obviously, this isn't a sustained top speed due to the fact that you need to activate the rocket booster that this thing has to achieve this top speed. However, it can reach up to the mid 150 mile per hour range when it's at its peak boost and going as fast as possible. Now you can also pair this with jumps to launch yourself extremely far in this vehicle, which is really cool and very fun. The Vigilante also comes equipped with front mounted machine guns and aggressive tracking homing missiles as well. Now unfortunately, despite the vehicle's really tough looks, it has absolutely nothing in the way of explosive resistance, which is quite sad. However, it is still one of the very coolest cars in GTA Online. It just should have had some armor, to be completely honest. Coming up next at number 7, we got the Imponte Ruiner 2000, and it goes for $2,812,000 if you got the trade price. Now, if you don't, it's going to run you $3,750,000 and you will have to keep it within a vehicle cargo warehouse, just so you're aware. Now, the Imponte Ruiner 2000 is an insane vehicle with some pretty unique specialties that it possesses. It's a regular Ruiner at first glance. However, once you get in the driver's seat, you will quickly realize what this vehicle is capable of. First of all, it has a jump ability, which is really cool, as well as a parachute that can be activated to take advantage of said jump. 
allowing you to glide through the air. It also comes equipped with good damaging machine guns as well as very good homing missiles, and it is customizable within Los Santos Customs, so you can upgrade it uh, as far as performance goes, and you can also change the color to whatever you like, and it's got a little tiny bit of customization as well. Overall, very, very cool vehicle, very underrated one. This thing used to be very popular a few years ago, but it has slowly dropped off in terms of popularity as the years have gone by. I still think it's pretty cool though, and it certainly is worth owning in my opinion, at least if you already have a vehicle cargo warehouse. Next up, we have the Akula, coming in at $3,375,000 if you got the trade price to $4,500,000. This thing had the price increased on it because it was honestly such a good vehicle and it was underpriced for what you were actually getting. It is a four-seater stealth helicopter and it comes equipped with dual miniguns by default as well as optional homing missiles or a four missile barrage uh, which will just shoot off in rapid succession but will not lock on. Now it can also be equipped with pilot controlled bombs that can be dropped from the helicopter and the co-pilot also gets access to a bottom mounted minigun that can also be upgraded within the hangar to be a dual minigun. It's an extremely fast helicopter as well, having one of the highest top speeds out of all the helicopters in GTA Online. And it can also be upgraded performance wise in the hangar with engine upgrades as well as armor and handling upgrades that change how the helicopter responds to inputs. Overall, a very cool vehicle. Definitely one of the best helicopters in GTA Online and certainly one that I would recommend owning. And it's just so damn cool, man. Number five, we have the Arena War ZR380 coming in at $1,608,000 if you got the trade price. Now, if you don't, it's going to be $2,138,640 kind of an odd price, but the Arena War ZR380 is just an awesome vehicle and it's pretty well known by the car community in GTA Online, I would say. However, if you're more of a casual fan or you're a little bit newer to GTA Online, you probably won't have seen it. Now the ZR380 has some pretty insane customization and gadgets that it can be fitted with, like the saw blades that will insta-kill other players or NPCs if they touch them, and sometimes even you if you run a little bit too close to the vehicle without pressing the enter vehicle key. Now it can also be fitted with front mounted guns as well as a variety of mines that it can drop, like spikes that will take out players or NPCs tires if they don't have bulletproof, shock mines, EMP mines, and many, many more. This thing is armed to the teeth, and with the booster on it, you can achieve some pretty crazy straight line speeds. Just be very mindful of the corners because it does not like those. At number four, we have the relatively new F-160 Raiju coming in at $5,141,250 if you have the trade price. Now, if you don't, it's going to run you $6,855,000, so quite expensive. However, you are getting a very, very good vehicle, largely regarded as one of the very best vehicles in all of GTA Online. This thing is a modern stealth fighter jet with homing missiles, dual explosive guns, Vertical takeoff and land, which is very, very helpful and useful, by the way. And of course, a stealth mode, which can be toggled on and off. Now, when you're in stealth mode, the plane loses all ability to discharge weapons or anything like that. However, when stealth mode is off, which it can be very quickly turned off, uh, all the weapon systems will come back online. Now the plane's engines, armor, and even handling can be upgraded within the hangar workshop, allowing the player to fine tune the jet's handling to how they like, as well as making it faster with engine upgrades and more resistant to general damage with those armor upgrades. This thing's the fastest plane in GTA Online as far as acceleration goes, and it does have a pretty darn good top speed as well. It'll get you across the map super quick. It's certainly a cool looking jet as well, and that stealth mode capability really just puts it in a league of its own. At number three, we got the Pegasi Torador coming in at $3,660,000 if you got the trade price. Now, if you don't, $4,250,000. This thing also unfortunately had a price increase a little while ago, making it just a little bit more expensive. Now the Torador is very similar to the aforementioned Ocelot Stromberg a little bit earlier on this list, in the fact that it can dive into the water in GTA Online and also traverse underwater areas. However, what separates the Torador from the Stromberg are a few major improvements. Firstly, and most notably, the Torador features a rocket booster. This is usable on land and underwater, which allows you to get around quite a lot quicker. Now it also features four seats, so you can carry two extra players, and it does have homing missiles or torpedoes underwater, similar to the Stromberg, as well as front-mounted machine guns that do less damage than the Strombergs. 
However, the Torador also has some customization and is generally much faster with significantly better handling and overall performance than the Ocelot Stromberg. Now, unfortunately, the Torador does have a pretty sizable price increase over the Stromberg, costing nearly double the price of that vehicle. However, you are getting some large improvements for your extra money if you do decide to spend it on the Torador instead of the Stromberg. I would honestly recommend having both. I think they're both good vehicles and the Stromberg is kind of a bargain for the price you're paying, to be honest, because its price did get decreased a few years ago at the same time when the Torador's got increased. And number two, we got the Pagasi Oppressor Mark I coming in at the odd price of $2,067,669. Now that's with the trade price. Without the trade price, $2,750,000. This is a super unique vehicle that actually ruined GTA Online for me when it first released because it was very, very overpowered. However, times have changed and it has an even worse younger brother now. However, that has been nerfed, thankfully. Now the Oppressor Mark I operates like a glider in the air and a motorcycle on the street. With the glider portion of the vehicle, you can float for a long, long time with this bike. And in order to get up in the air, you simply have to activate the rocket booster on the bike and then deploy the wings and off you go. It does have missiles or machine guns. Now the missiles are unlocked through bunker research and they are very good. And it's a really fun vehicle to drive as well as fly around. And I would definitely recommend it if you've never owned one, especially if you're like me and you hated this thing for a long time. I'd say honestly give it a try because it's not nearly as much of a problem as it first was when it initially released into GTA Online. As an honorable mention, we have the HVY Insurgent Pickup Custom, costing $1,795,500 for the initial purchase of the HVY Insurgent Pickup Pegasus vehicle. You're then gonna have to call it and take it to your MOC and for $202,500, you can upgrade it into the Pickup Custom variant, making it into a personal vehicle as opposed to a Pegasus vehicle. Now, something about this vehicle in particular is just so special to me. It's a badass militarized off-road beast with a top-mounted machine gun that can hold nine players and drop proximity mines behind itself, all while tanking 27 homing missiles or nine RPGs. It's also really fast and overly capable at pretty much anything and everything. And this is definitely a vehicle that is worth owning in my honest opinion. I love the Insurgent Pickup Custom, definitely one of my favorite armored vehicles in GTA Online. And I certainly think it is easily a contender for the 10 coolest vehicles in GTA Online. Now at number one, this probably won't shock many of you, but we have the Kasatka Submarine coming in at $2,200,000. Now to be honest, I actually hate talking about the Kasatka because I have to talk about it so often here on YouTube because it just is such a good vehicle. However, if you told me in 2013 that about seven years after the game had come out, we would get a fully functional nuclear submarine that we could purchase and not only purchase and go to, but actually sail around and dive under the surface of the water in GTA Online while containing two or three vehicles within itself that are highly usable and that would also give you access to a heist that paid at the time of release about $1.3 million for completing it, while also having sonar and cruise missiles that can be launched from it, as well as a periscope missile launcher to defend the submarine from pesky oppressors and jets and things of that nature, I would have looked at you like you were absolutely insane and probably had seven eyes. The fact that we have a submarine that we can sail around in GTA Online that is as big as the Kasatka is pretty insane to me. I didn't think GTA Online's engine could even handle doing something like this, let alone having up to 30 in a session, which is just insane to think about. You can also teleport around with it, which is sick, but honestly, just the fact that we can sail this thing around, dive under the water, see it, you know, control it, it's so crazy to me. And then of course, it has the Sparrow within it, the Avisa submarine, and a possible third vehicle, like the aforementioned Ocelot Stromberg or Pagasi Torador that can dock within it. It's actually crazy that we have this thing in GTA Online, to be completely honest. I, I actually cannot even really believe it to this day. Such a cool vehicle, so unique, so different, easily the coolest vehicle in GTA Online. There's no doubt in my mind, it just is. There's no way it's not. So there you have it, that's it for number one. And that's it for the list, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. 
Consider subscribing to my channel if you guys are new, comment a seven if you made it to the end of the video, and comment down below and let me know what you think some of the coolest vehicles in GTA Online are. Let me know if you think I missed any on this list and maybe I'll make a part two to this video at some point in the near future. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Hey, yikes.